Hey, Jim Parr here, and we're going to walk through a few things on building reputation management for your current agency or actually, or even building your own marketing agency. One of the first things that we teach when we're teaching somebody to start a marketing agency, which we've taught over 400 people uh, start agencies, is reputation management because it's so easy to find clients and we're going to show you that and not only that it's so easy to get reviews when you know what to do and even to get rid of some of the negative reviews and it's really not getting rid of them it's adding positive reviews to push out those negative reviews so some of those you can push out if they uh, aren't a profile or if you uh, take some time to go after them and uh, but if it's a legit customer and they left a bad review you're just not going to get rid of them but the way you get rid of those is bring in more positive reviews so chat GPT uh, we typed in there how important online reviews for business can provide statistics and can you provide statistics in the US so uh, Obviously, Bright Local in 2020, they said 87% of consumers read online reviews for local businesses and almost 80% trust those reviews. So that's important to know that. And uh, a couple of other things is the quality of the review. Uh, people look at negative reviews. Sometimes that, that's the first thing they look at. And 94% of the consumers reported that a negative review was con has convinced them to avoid that business. So that's the importance of reviews. And let's just take a look at this. I'm going to teach you in this short video on how to look for these customers, how to uh, go in and uh, create reputation management with uh, high level which is a software that we use and there may be a link in the description or there may not but uh, if there is you get a 14 day free trial maybe a 30 day free trial but we also have a, a master class that we provide for free if you use that link and uh, it just helps you walk you through in setting up your agency or building your current agency. So let's look at roofing companies like in Franklin, Tennessee, which is just outside of Nashville here. And so when you search uh, a roofing company, let's just say you need a shingles on your roof or whatever it might be, um, you're gonna go into Google. 90, I think it's like 96% of the searches are in Google. So Google is the king, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, so if we look at this, here's a sponsored ad and here's some Google guaranteed ads. They pay for these ads right here just to let you know, but see the number of reviews. And then we get into our, what they used to call the map pack or the local listing, Google business listings, which is probably the most important piece to get into because, um, it's easy to get ranked in these. And a lot of people don't know how to rank your local business. This is a free listing for anybody that has an address and has a legit business. So these companies are under the category roofing contractor. And when you go into these, um, I'm gonna actually take you in the back end of uh, our local business listing and show you some of the stuff that we do at the end of this video just to show you how we push clients up and feed keywords in there and everything else but one thing to remember is look at the the number of reviews uh, 259 154 usually the more reviews the better ranking you're going to get although i can tell you that i've got a commercial real estate company that we work with and they don't have a ton of reviews, but they're in this top three here. And let me show you that. So we just typed in commercial real estate in Mobile, Alabama, and they only have 11 reviews, but they're, I guess, you know, they're probably one of the highest out of these three. 
but they're sitting in the top three positions here for commercial real estate. And we've had them there for years and um, worked with them since 2013. And it's uh, and the way we've done this is through keyword optimization and putting in Google local postings. So it it allows that ranking to get quality uh, rankings, quality reputation with Google because they like that stuff. And uh, and so you can see that uh, we really push them into that spot and that's probably the most important spot to be in so if you're looking at these roofing companies you want to be in these top spots here and you do that by reviews and different things like that and just to give you another uh, one here we don't have them in the local listing but we do have them number one one of our clients number one in the organic listings so there's organic and organic is really done through creating content. And we use an AI generator to do that. Uh, we used to do it organically, uh, but with the technology these days, why not make things a little bit easier and use AI and uh, take the guesswork out of things. Uh, so these are different things that we teach uh, in our full-on marketing course, but uh, I'm just giving you some ideas to go after those easy reputation management clients because you can make anywhere from $350 a month up to uh, near $1,000 a month and just doing reputation management. And that's just boosting those reviews, getting uh, clients uh, getting those reviews for your clients. And the great thing that we do, it's fully automated by using Go High Level. So we uh, have this Go High Level account. Um, our white label is called Sproutified. So we sell it as Sproutified. And uh, just to give you, we're going to go into one of our dummy accounts and kind of show you how this works real quick. So on the back of Go High Level in the dashboard, we have uh, a, a few different listings here. Under marketing, we've got uh, marketing automation sites that are your funnels, your websites. Memberships is if you're doing uh, videos, membership videos, a lot of fitness, stuff like that. And then we have reputation here. So the one thing that you want to do first in this is get the software with the link that's in the description. And then uh, you can try this out for free. And remember it's 97 to 297 a month. But uh, if you're gonna be putting in multiple clients into this, you wanna do the 297 a month, but you can try it for free, get, get a few clients right away, go after them. The software will pay for itself. You got 14 days to go after those clients and start building the business. So uh, one of the first things is to do the integrations. So under settings, you got integrations. And when you're setting up, say it's a roofing company, you wanna sign in with Google, connect their Google account, so their Google local listing. And, uh, and that is really the only thing that you need to connect initially, unless you wanna start doing Facebook, Instagram, uh, things like that, but I would focus in on this one piece. That's what I always say in my marketing classes is focus in on one area, build that area really good. And then once you build that area, start expanding out from there. So after you started generating, let's just say $5,000 a month, um, then start expanding out to doing social media ads, uh, whatever it might be. Facebook, Instagram, things like that, Google, uh, paid ads. And once you build that trust with that client, they're going to trust you for spending more money because they're already getting results. So integrate that. And then you're just going to go back. And then you want to go into your uh, reputation here. So once this is connected, you can simply 
uh, send a review request by clicking this. And uh, so under this menu here, we've got requests. So you can send review requests here. You've got your reviews, so you'll be able to see all your reviews, and I'll show you a live account just to give you an idea of that. There's no reviews yet. And listings, that's just something new with Yext. Um, but those are the only two things that you need to respond to. And whenever a, a positive review comes through, remember that you want it to you want to respond to that because Google likes when you respond to reviews and that helps build that ranking up when you respond to reviews. So let's just take a look at a live account. So this is a live account so we can see reviews that are here. And then if we wanted to select requests, we can uh, do that through our contact list and send out a mass uh, email uh, or text request through cell phone, which is better if you've got their cell phone number and ask for a review. But um, the first thing that you're going to do is find out if they have a contact list. If they have a contact list, it makes life a lot easier to get a lot of reviews very quickly. And then once you do that mass uh, content like that, the review requests with their contact list, then you start automating like, uh, and I'm going to show you that right now. So we're back in our dummy account and, uh, or demo account is what is a better word for it. And uh, so we're under automations and they call it recipes. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but we can just go like this and I'm not sure I like the word recipe. So we can set up an automation and that's really the way you want to do it is if somebody is invoicing online through QuickBooks or uh, they finish a work order and it's completed and closed, it automatically, uh, they just type in a tag word and maybe it's uh, client satisfied or uh, job completed or some tag word that you have in here that you can specify. So it might be, um, we could add in a word called, uh, let's add a new tag here. Uh, it's not gonna let me do that right now, but um, add in a new tag, job completed, it's going to mark it as one or done or whatever. And then it's going to automatically send them a review request. And whether it's a text or an email, um, yeah, we don't have our reputation settings configured. That's why it wasn't letting me put in a tag. But in this, um, we could, let's just go to these settings real quick and set these up real quick so that you can kind of see what we're talking about here. So better yet, I just brought you into one of our live accounts. And so we mark it as one. So the opportunity, the client uh, was closed and we have a new workflow trigger. Uh, we wait uh, one hour after the, the work order has been closed. And then we send them a review request via text. Could you please take a moment to review my business? It takes less than 30 seconds. They click on the link and it takes them right into the Google review. Uh, we also send them a, a, an email with a similar uh, deal to uh, kind of close that. And, and then we can even go a step further if they haven't done either of these. We could wait, say, one day and then send them another review request. So we would just go in, set up a wait, and just call it, uh, instead of minutes here, we just say one day. And then and we could say wait one day. And then send them 
another review request. So we would basically copy this, copy the action, and then we would just move this down uh, and copy it in there. So um, that's really how things work and you can automate that. But the best way to do this when you initially land that client is to take their contact list and do a bulk upload. So in the back end of the uh, Go High Level, you can go under contacts here and do a I'm back in the demo account and just basically import if they've got their um, right here, import contacts, you can just select this, drag and drop that file in there, preferably like a CSV file or an Excel file uh, that's separated first name, last name. And you can bring that in and hopefully they got like a cell phone number. But if they don't, if they just have email, you can put all those in here and then you can select those con all those uh, contacts. So if there was 200 contacts here, we could just select them all and then go into send review request. And so it'll go through a process. We select the uh, whether we want to text them or email them. And then we can say at one time or we could drip campaign this out over a certain period of time or or days or weeks so and then you just click send review requests I don't know what these phone numbers are so I don't want to send that out but that's how you do it so um, as new contacts come in every month your monthly fee is to manage those contacts so uh, if you have the automation set up there's not a lot of work to do and as those new clients close you have an automation set up already to automatically send those review requests so there's no work involved so that's how you charge a monthly fee and it's so important to show those companies on a quick zoom or a quick call the importance of being in this top spot here because it's more important to them than paying a thousand or ten thousand dollars a month for Google Ads, which is in this spot right here. And I know commercial roofing because we do a lot of it for our clients, uh, the marketing side of it. But um, it's even more important to be here. But from a commercial roofing standpoint, if they've got a big area, they're they're not gonna. It, unless they have an address in every city, they're not going to rank there. But um, I was going to show you one little secret. And let me just go back into my Google local listing. Let me pull that up. So I'm not one of those marketers that only shows you over their shoulder type of thing. I want to show you the power of Google local listings. So this is an account. So I'm in the background. Uh, in my dashboard logged into Google local listings so I get all these options to uh, create bookings Q&A uh, I can advertise from here I can see my performance I can read reviews here from Google I can respond to uh, Google reviews and with high level you can even set up a chat um, and the person can chat through Google to that client which is a pretty awesome thing. And it's only on mobile. So you're looking at this from the desktop point of view. But if we go into edit profile and select this, uh, you can see the categories that we have set up. And I, I never really show this kind of stuff, but I'm going to show it to you. I usually just show my students how to do this. Um, but we're going to run through everything that needs to be done here so we select everything in the real estate industry here and then we go in and we're really uh, cognizant on putting 
uh, areas that they service. So we want to really uh, put in their primary service area and then add additional keywords to that. And you can add keywords. And this one, I don't have that because I used every bit of the uh, number of characters here. But we're really specific about using the primary key keyword, this commercial real estate mobile in this. And you can see that right here further down. Uh, then one of the other things you want to use is the power of postings. Posting Google postings. So they are right down below the reviews here. So we've got, these are those right in this area. So we'll take some of the real estate postings on their website. And this one was uh, just about 30 days ago. And we'll put these postings in here. So if you click learn more, that's going to go to their website. So it connects to their website and gives them even more strength in the rankings. But we've got all the reviews here. And, uh, and the thing is to command the real estate, command the, the, the real estate on the first page of Google and make sure all the stuff is up to date and that they've got a lot of different things here. But to do those postings, uh, it's very simple. You just go in and uh, under that area, you just add a new post. So add update, they call it an update but it's a posting with rich keywords and you want to, as this one has, commercial warehouse for lease, Mobile, Alabama, great opportunity. And so you wanna really post those in there, but that's where you can command that monthly fee and get things going. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Uh, if you want my masterclass, on go high level use that link in the description that is required uh, because we have hundreds of hours on creating that master class and we're going to do another video on go high level just a quick uh quick start guide for go high level and with all the ai and different things like that but remember to simplify things when you build a marketing company build it with one thing in mind start with the reputation management because it's easy it's easy to find those clients like if i wanted to find a client right now under roofing companies i would just click more businesses here and then i would run down right towards the bottom here and i would find the clients that have the worst reviews or the the littlest reviews or even if they have a 5.0 and they have two reviews, this guy is way down there. And you can offer a guarantee that you'll get him up on the top spot of Google in the local listing. And don't even tell him it's the local listing because he'll be on the first page of Google once this is optimized here. So this guy, 3.7. Uh, the problem that with some of these is they're just not good companies and they're never going to get a good review. So uh, sometimes you beat your head against the wall trying to help them, but they're not helping themselves. Uh, but go after the companies that only have a few reviews and offer them, offer them that uh, easy reputation management that uh, you can start doing today just by getting your software with go high level and uh and if you want me to help you get this started just uh reach out to me i'm pretty transparent so leave comments below questions hit that like button hit that subscribe and we'll talk to you soon